What's up guys, it is your boy Hot Chocolate Fitness here with another fitness episode. And today is bench. Two weeks of bench footage. I've been working out every day as I've stated in my squat video and I've been benching or doing some kind of upper body work at least four times out of the week. Close to it, three to four times. So. That's a lot for me. I used to do bench twice a week when I was preparing for my last meet, but now I'm just feeling really good and ready to try something new. So doing heavy sessions of bench once or twice a week is pretty good. i been focusing on my pause because for bench press and a powerlifting meet, you have to pause for a certain amount of time. This time, it depends on the judges, but if you have a good judge, at least I'm gonna three seconds at the most that you're gonna have to keep that pause maybe even a little sooner it depends on the federation and your judges for the day so working on that and remembering to lose to lose use leg drive now with the leg drive i don't exactly use it the way some people do i just make sure my body gets as tight as possible so as not in this video right there does not show how I normally get my body really tight. But for me, I just want to get my body as tight as possible so that all the tension can just fall and go up to my toe. Uh, my money maker is my chest. So I've been alternating between doing speed days, which I'm going to be doing high reps. So some days I actually have a bodybuilding workout. The other day is actually a powerlifting, which the pause work is my bodybuilding workout. So this right here, this is speed work. So I was just like, oh, let's just do as many as we can with 225 at the end of my set. Just a, almost like a burnout in a way. Now this is more of powerlifting movement. Nice, slow, controlled. Because like I said earlier, you need control with powerlifting. Power, explosiveness, but it has to be controlled. You have to know the exact time to explode. You need to be controlled as you bring it down, and then when you got at the bottom, boom, explode up so you can get that power out of that. I'm feeling like powerful hot chocolate. <laughs> With that being said, bench is going good. There is, of course, low improvements I need to make. I'm not really worried about my arch at the moment because I just started thinking about it after a while, and there's a lot of people that bench flat and they do fine so you just need to find what works for you and how you can improve off of that because it all comes down to leverages and you have to use the leverage that works best for you of course the arch helps for me because one i have long ass arms so any way to give me a little less range of motion is always better <laughs> so i will definitely never have a super arch like a arch you would think of going over something or like a bridge or anything, but I will always have a little baby on it. I'll always improve on my flexibility, and we'll just see how that goes. But for now, just focusing on getting as strong as possible and not getting injured. And that's the biggest part of powerlifting. You don't want to get hurt. Once you get hurt, you're kind of screwed. There's no way around that. So, like I said, bench is going good, doing speed days. The speed days are really higher reps. I might be repeating myself, I said it again, so let's think of something else to talk about. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, back where we're going with this. Now I'm going to show you exactly how to get out of a bench press situation when you have no spotter. 315 is normally easy for me, but because I was by myself and I was tired, I got to my sticking point right here. See? And boom, I'm done. So I just said, oop, get rid of, get rid of. And then you act like you was part of it, what you're planning to do. And the person right there just looked at me like, oh, that's crazy, man. He wasn't going to try to help me. He could lift that, so I'm kind of glad that, you know, he can do that. It's an ego thing somewhat, but it's not that big. So, sorry about the little randomness there, guys, but I like to be a little random, make up a little stuff, and this is how my progress is going with Vince. So, hope everybody's lifting good. 
what's your best PR? I want to hear about it. Post it down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And